celebrations on the streets of Cairo as Egyptians mark the 40th anniversary of the 1973 war with Israel. Amid tight security over concerns of Muslim Brotherhood protests, Egyptians gather around Tahrir Square. Some have their faces painted with the Egyptian flag. Others hold posters of Armed Forces Chief General Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. One veteran of the Mideast War is now focusing on the future. When we went to war, we fought Israel. But now we are fighting terrorism all around the world. How long did it take to defeat Israel? Six days. Now we are fighting terrorism at an international level. And the man who is leading us to victory is the commander, Abdul Fattah al-Sisi. In the fall of 1973, Syria and Egypt caught Israel off guard, launching surprise attacks on two fronts, the occupied Golan Heights and Sinai Desert. The attacks came on Yom Kippur, the holiest day of the year in the Jewish calendar in which the entire country grinds to a halt. Israel later launched a massive counteroffensive before a ceasefire took hold. Author Abraham Rabinovich says the war changed the way Israel sees itself. For Israel, the main lesson is to be prepared for the worst, because what happened then was worse than anyone imagined, the surprise. Uh, and this is even more true today, when there are so many unknowns. Israel and Egypt signed a peace treaty in 1979. 